Hello, hello, Jeff Helvin here with Balan Brands, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create and add listing widgets to add to any page of your website. So I have my website pulled up here, and let's say I wanna do, uh, let's look at, we're gonna go to lifestyle category. So I have a lifestyle category. Um, this is more of like a things to do. So things to do in Las Vegas, things to do in Boulder City. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and go to things to do in Las Vegas. Now this is a blog that's been written and post it on my website. So it has, you know, information about local things that people like to do um, or, you know, activities that people can participate in. And so we have that here. But what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and just pop in, you know, you can see the page here, it's got information, but I wanna pop in a little bit um, about real estate. I wanna, I wanna give something else for them to engage with, okay? So I'm gonna add maybe most recently listed homes in Las Vegas, but I don't wanna, the page isn't about that, so I'm just gonna put, you know, like a, a little section for it and add that there. So I'm gonna go over here to my IDX Broker admin. So I'm logged into IDX Broker, and I'm gonna go here under Design, Widgets, and then I still use the Legacy Widgets. Um, they're a little easier to configure, um, have a little few more options. So we still use that one here. So we're gonna click on Legacy. And I already have several widgets set up for Las Vegas in particular. So if I wanted to take a look at that, let's say I go to uh, locations, just give you an example here of what we're putting together, Las Vegas. And if I scroll down on the page, so I already have these. So if I wanted just simply the same one, I could just go grab this one, but I wanna do something, this is like too much. I just wanted to do like three properties across, not six properties with all that information. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that out, just showing you what we're doing here. And we're gonna create a new one because I don't have one in here that already is set up that particular way. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Create New. And we do recommend the Showcase widget. That's the one that shows it in the blocks, which is most uh, flexible and easiest to load and what people are a little more used to there. And then Properties of Feature, I have lots of different options. I could feature like my own properties that I have listed um, supplemental properties, meaning if I added them in myself or um, sold or pending properties. But in this case, I'm just gonna do a custom search because I, I wanna set the parameters and I want it to dynamically update as the MLS updates as well. So I'm gonna choose the search page. We're just gonna go to advanced search. Um, I could choose if I was just doing an address or just a basic one, but I'm gonna go ahead and do advanced search. And then I get to choose, just like I can choose in my MLS, the different options that I want to select. So in this case, I'm going to do residential, uh, property subtype, I'll do single family, uh, status, I want to be active, okay? And then city, county, or postal code. So in this case, I'm just going to do Las Vegas. We'll select that. And then there's a minimum price and a maximum price. So you can set that if you like to kind of control a little better of what your uh, price range might be or you know what you focus on and then if I wanted to I could do three bedroom homes number of bathrooms like it depends on how specific you want to get but I'm gonna leave this a little more general and then I can also do things like you know open houses see open houses that are coming up in Las Vegas something like that but again we'll just kind of leave it uh, pretty generic we'll just we'll just let it be what it is um, price reduction I could do just reduced I could do how many days listed um, it, again, a lot of different ways. And then I can choose um, number of results that I want it to be. But again, I'm gonna leave everything standard here, okay? And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and, if I wanna see like what's gonna come up, I can click view results in a new window just to kind of see what, what results I'm gonna get. Now this is the view of properties, not how it's gonna look on your website when you post it. But in this case, I'm just looking to see, you know, oh, okay, yeah, that's, this is the kind of properties that I want to show up. Um, right now it's showing it in highest price to lowest. So I am gonna configure that down here. So um, we do want it to be responsive. So down at this bottom, this is where we're creating kind of the details of the widget. We do want it to be responsive, meaning if they're on a mobile, they'll stack on top of each other instead of being across like it is on desktop. Um, we're gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna put Las Vegas Homes. Um, we'll just do latest. Las Vegas homes for blog page. Maybe, because I want to be specific with where I'm putting it. So I'll, I'll go ahead and add that. And then we have the sorting order. We want the newest listings to show up first. I could do oldest listings, least expensive to most, most expensive, you can see all that. Uh, but we're gonna do newest listings first. That's how I like to have it. Because then, again, as the MLS is updating, it'll consistently update for you as well. 
Um, width is, because it's responsive, that's, you can't configure that, it's just gonna be 100%. Um, number of rows, same thing, we don't configure that because it's gonna stack the way it needs to. And then number of columns. So that would be how many do you want to show um, across here. So we don't usually recommend more than three. Um, some cases you might just want two. Um, but again, if we're gonna have this on a blog, we wanna show a few more. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just do three. And then how many listings do you want it to display? Now, this is where you're controlling how many you actually want to show up on the page. Now, if you remember the other page I just showed you, I had six. I had two, you know, one, two, three, and then four, five, six. They were stacked on top of each other. I just want only three to show. So I'm going to go ahead and just create this number of listings, three. I only want three to show. Now, that doesn't mean we're limiting what they can click through to see. We're just only displaying three. We want it in three columns and we're showing three of them. So that just means it's gonna be one row with three properties. All right, and then open widget links in a new window. I don't want that. So what that is is a, a view more or view all button. So display the view all results, yes. I do wanna display that, but I don't want it to open in a new window because I just basically they're, they're abandoning now the blog and they're going to uh, the properties page. Uh, if you want, you can have it open a new window, but we don't usually recommend that because it's on the same website, so you don't want them to end up with like seven different windows open. Let me do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click build widget. All right, so this is the code that I need. Anywhere I paste this code on my website, it's gonna show the three latest Las Vegas homes between 400 and 900,000. So it's just that simple. And then I can go in and edit that later. Maybe I don't like the results, I wanna change it. But if we know what this particular widget is for, then you know, we can easily go edit that information. So I'm gonna go back here. All right, so now I need to edit the page because I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the page. So I'm gonna click edit with Elementor. And now it's gonna load in my interface here to add uh, the information, kind of have, it'll redisplay the page pretty much in like how it looks on the website, but we have our widgets over here. So we've got these different sections uh, the table of content is built from these headings. So the Big Apple Coaster, you'll see the Big Apple Coaster. So if I do another heading, then it's going to put that in the thing. So if I want to say like latest Las Vegas homes or newest Las Vegas homes for sale, um, I would make it an actual heading. In this case, I don't want to make it a heading because I'm not trying to get people down there, you know, from up here. I just want to like put it in the middle somewhere. So I want to put it like in between, you know, maybe here. Let's see, I've got an image, image, here we go. So here's a spot. I don't have an image for Adventure Dome. So I wanna put it underneath here. So what I'm gonna use though, is I'm gonna use the, I've got HTML to paste in, it's code. I've got code to paste in. So I'm gonna drag this over and I want it to show up under the view website for more info. And then I'm pasting in this widget code that I copied from here. And I'm gonna paste it in right here. Okay, so now it shows. So now you see it's a little crammed because it's not, you know, on the blog, particular blog pages, um, we've got it to where we've got these categories on the right. This is all for search engines and stuff, so we do want to keep those in there, um, but we do have that. So it's, it's a, you know, they're smaller images and that's okay. If I want to go make it two, then, you know, it'll resize to only two across. I can make it two by two if you want, so we can make it two columns. But let's go ahead and I'll just show you what that looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and hit publish. All right, there we go. So now I'm gonna go back to view my changes. And there you go. We see the properties that are in there, um, latest properties. Now again, I can put some text above it that says latest properties in Las Vegas or anything like that. Um, I can also go here under widgets. Let's go back to widgets, legacy. And then I'm gonna go, go to this last widget that I just created. Las, la, latest Las Vegas homes for blog page. I'm gonna edit the widget if I wanted to change the properties that are showing up, okay? If I wanted to have different properties or maybe I didn't like what's, what's coming out there. If I wanna change the display of the widget, then I'm gonna go to, let's see where we at here. Preview, edit widget, preview, view code, and copy. So this just allows us to, to do um, all that, edit widget. If I wanna change the widget options, it's just a little tab right here. So I can change the search criteria, I can edit it by hand, which I don't recommend, because that's you know a little more code developer thing. 
um, or I can change the widget options. So in this case, let's say I want to do two columns, but four listings. So that should create a two by two on top. So I'm going to save the widget settings. I'm going to go over here to my page. I'm going to reload it. Okay, and sometimes it takes just a minute because uh, we just made the update in the server side. So, um, so it doesn't show right away. But what that's going to do is it's going to have two properties. So it'll be a little bit bigger images because now it's two properties. And then it'll have two more right above it. So it'll be two by two um, when we're done with that particular page. Let me see. Oh, it's got it. Oh, it's because it's a draft. That's why I didn't edit. Let me go back to the actual published page here. See if that helps. Okay, and then go back here. So you obviously don't need to do all this. I'm just trying to show you the end result here if it'll display correctly. Yeah, so I already created the three by three. So it just takes a little time for the server and IDX broker to display the updated code that we're gonna use in there. But you don't need to go back in and change any code in here or resubmit or reformat anything if you just wanna change the way that layout looks, you can go ahead and do that. So again, you can take that widget and put it anywhere, you know, that you can edit a page on your locations, um, your, your blogs, your buyer blogs, your seller blogs, anything like that. If I wanna go into buyer blogs, you'll see that usually, let's pop that open, ultimate guide to home loans. Got all this information in here. And then Again, if I want to add properties in here because someone's looking at home loans and information and all that, then I can add more properties. So it gives more for them to engage with. Um, it promotes more of the properties, uh, you know, that, which is what we want them to do. We want them to interact with the properties in order to, it'll prompt them. You'll notice we have on our website, if I go to one of the properties and then I click on photos, then you'll see it asks them to register. So that's how we have it set up. So it's better for lead capture. It gives us a little more opportunity there. Um, so again, just to recap, we go to our IDX broker admin, we create the widget, we copy the code for the widget, and then we go to our website and edit any page we want to, move over that HTML um, code block and then paste in that HTML and publish the page. And there you go, that's all we need to do. So if you have any other questions about that or anything else regarding your real estate website, IDX pages, IDX broker, um, you can certainly email us at team at